You already know who it is, man. It's the Outcast Outlaw. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. I know I'm late to the party on this, but I'm going to speak on it anyway. Some of y'all probably already know about this. Some of y'all may not know about this, but let's get right into it, man. All right, the Leslie Benzie's departure from Rockstar Games. A little piece of it anyway. Probably what led up to, you know, it blowing up the way it did. But um, I just found out that the Hauser brothers wanted to focus on the story aspect of Grand Theft Auto. Leslie Benzies wanted to focus on online, which I'm against, but you know, from a business standpoint, you can see why they milk GTA Online the way they do. You know, I mean, hell, a lot of this DLC in GTA Online was supposed to be single player DLC. The contract update felt out of place. I mean, I liked it, but it felt out of place, if that makes any sense. Like, uh, especially the the Lamar and Franklin missions, you know, that would have been better suited for single player. I think the last time I really enjoyed GTA Online, like really enjoyed it, like playing it dust till dawn type shit was 2014. That's when GTA Online was, was in its prime, man. You know, you never knew what the fuck was going to happen, man. You know, you don't know if niggas going to come in there and do a money drop or whatever. I remember that shit too, man. Rockstar took all our money and stuff like that, man. Uh, the Eclipse Towers and the Adder. Is in Torno, you know what I mean? That the, the simplicity of GTA Online, man. But you know, once you unlock everything, it's just like you know what now? Well, now as you can see, this game just doesn't know when to fucking die. I mean, this shit done got out of control to the point where all these gaming companies are deciding to sit on one fucking game and just do half-ass updates throughout the year. I mean, whether you're talking about Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, you fucking name it, man. Some of these games just don't know when to fucking die. Now, granted, this new generation of gamers, they don't know no fucking better. Some kids are picking up a PS5 for the first time. Some of them think they're playing a 2023 game instead of a 2013 game. So, yeah, that being said, we're long overdue for another Grand Theft Auto game. Now, see, back to the whole departure. Um, I had it all wrong. I was under the impression that Leslie Benzies wanted to focus on the story and not the online. So, of course, you know, thinking that, you automatically are going to take Leslie's side. Now, with the success of GTA Online... It was a pretty good idea, Leslie. From a consumer standpoint, a long-time GTA veteran. What in the fuck are you thinking? Now, I have no doubt that everywhere is going to be a top-level game. I mean, Leslie Benzies, you got to think about it. Leslie Benzies is one of the primary reasons as to why Grand Theft Auto has been so successful. So I already know he ain't going to do us wrong with his game. But I tell you what, man. Come next month. I mean, shit, November's coming to an end, and we're going to get some GTA 6 news come next month. Balls in your court, Leslie. What's happening? So, yeah, with that being said, man, the, the whole gaming industry is about to get shook up next month. Not sure Rockstar and Take-Two, they're the superpower of the gaming industry. But Leslie Benzies can very well force himself into that conversation. Now, sure, it isn't going to happen overnight, but I can see it happening sooner rather than later. I mean, sure, Leslie Benzies and them dropped the trailer for everywhere, but, you know... They're still tight-lipped about their project just as much as Rockstar and Take-Two are tight-lipped about GTA 6. Now, us being consumers, this works out in our favor. Because without competition, man, the product gets stale. That's, the, that, that's exactly what the fuck is going on right now in the open-world gaming market, man. Because, you know, Alition, Deep Silver, THQ, whoever the fuck, that whole entire umbrella. You know, them, them motherfuckers lost their mind and uh, Saints Row got killed because of it. And then once that happened, you know, Rockstar and them pretty much just said, what competition? Now look at us, 2023 going on 2024, still playing motherfucking GTA Online. Not one story DLC in sight. But yeah, you know, back to the Leslie Benzie's departure, man. Of course, we'll never know the full story. But, you know, sending a man off on a sabbatical and then robbing him in the process, unpaid royalties, that type of shit. Yeah, <laughs> Clearly, that internal conflict spiraled out of control. It goes to show you, man, workplace drama doesn't just apply to, you know, your average tax bracket. It applies to all tax brackets. But yeah, man, we'll see how this thing plays out next month, man. Do y'all think Leslie Benzie's going to drop a trailer of his own or you think he's just going to, you know, take the hit next month? We'll see what happens, man. But that being said, man, what do y'all think? I'm out. Peace.